Welcome to part two of the basic steps on the path to making gold in World of Warcraft. I'm Shin and on this video we're going to catch up with what I've been doing since the last video and also show you how to set up some basic groups and operations in Trade Skill Master for auctioning. So let's start. So as by magic I am in uh, Stormwind in the auction house. I've been out and, and done some questing and now I'm level 16. Okay so I have uh, done all the quests in Elwyn Forest and then working my way through Westfall. All right, and so while I've been doing that, I have been doing a little bit of farming, picking up some ore and herbs along the way, as well as other materials that other mats that have dropped from like, you know, killing the animals and picking up uh, cloth off the your humanoids. Okay, so we've got some items to sell. Not always, not all of them are high value items, but then um, this is early doors. So all we're trying to do is trying to get some gold in the bank. At the moment, I've only got one gold in the bank or in my bag, should we say. All right, so first thing we're going to do is going to open trade skill master now if you've downloaded trade skill master add-on you should have a mini map button here okay you can either click that or you can do slash tsm which should oh if i could just spell that would help so tsm should bring this up okay so this is the main window for tsm all right this is not the auction house window this is just the main for getting your uh, groups and auctions and everything else set up right so what i'm going to do is we're, i'm just going to go through a little bit of a an over overview of the add-on all right and then we will then add some information into this part of it which is going to be through our herbing and our mining actually we mining only i think right so we have a couple of options here so this is our tsm features we've got a uh, inventory viewers which tells us all the stuff that uh, shin has got in his bag and it says total value of items 4786 that would be nice it's saying the, the captain's treasure match worth 3,700. Now, who, who's going to buy that? But people do try to sell stuff like that. But so that gives you a false, you know, not really a good value. What money we got, all right? But what we, and also we've got macro setup. Now, macro setup is a really good way of uh, posting and cancelling auctions at a really fast rate. It can be dangerous in the sense that you can, if you're not paying attention, you can buy too much or you know buy something that you didn't mean to buy so it, you know use with care until you're really sure you know what you're doing so what I do is um, if you can see here it's got con bottom here it's got modifiers and I've got control and it's up and down the scroll wheel and I normally press it twice and then it should have the the macro set to the scroll wheel all right I'll show you how we use that all right so and then we've got custom price sources which we will look at adding later on as we go through the videos no point adding the that right now because we're not going to have that kind of groupage or or uh, settings okay and then we have options here okay now these if you the first part of the video if you had a look where I told you about all the modules of TSM you could download most of them will be in here okay there's a couple of that extra ones like the app helper stuff like that they'll be all in here and they're giving you uh, module options okay and uh, some tool tip options down here all right so tool tip if we go tool tip and we go to uh, auctioning so auctioning values in tool tip okay and accounting you've got here you've got, you can add you can click these or I don't really mess with that auction DB and then this is the pricing so if we look at an item now if we go to the ore the copper ore it's giving us some uh, the bottom of the tool tip it says TSM auction DB Okay, it gives you a minimum buyout, market value, region market value average, region average sale, region sale rate, and region daily sold, average daily sold. Okay, so it's 185 five bars of sold daily. I like a bit more information. I work a lot on historical prices, so I want to see my historical price. And uh, that's it. So we've got minimum buy out region minimum buyer and historical price there all right and global historical price I like. so they're my ones okay so now if we go back now we should have some more more information so we're looking at uh minimum buyer at the moment which is nearly five gold market value is three gold historic price only one gold 85 so that's how they have sold in the past all right so we've got a couple of tool tips there and then we've got some options here so we've got time format, which is pretty good. That's that's not bad. We leave that as it is. You can clear old data if you want to. 
you know you can set this up to 90 days all right so set mine to 90 days auction db that's fine auction in cancel auction in with bids no that's fine whitelist is where you can add uh, if you've got friends on your realm and they on the auction house and you don't want to undercut them if you add their name to the whitelist they will not undercut them okay or you can match whitelisted players all right and then crafting that we you know we'll get further into that like gathering and stuff like that so we can look further along destroying and mailing and shopping and loads of stuff but we have got sniper okay only thing i want to do go through the shopping options okay because we will look at a thing called sniping which is a really valuable part of trade skill master but it's only really valuable when you've got a, a, quite a bit of money to um spend all right so go down here so we've got sniper options found auction sound cast reg so when it when you run sniper in the auction now so you can test the sound and it does that all right and this is a uh, this is my sniper price okay uh, which I will will go when we, when we look at sniper all right so then we have groups and you'll see here we have got no groups because obviously we, we're just started starting fresh and I've got a new profile so we've actually got nothing we're going to add uh, probably two groups today, which is going to be ore and uh, so low value ore and low value herbs. All right, we're going to much change the names to go along. You know, we'll see how see how I feel. All right, and then we've got some operations. Operations are used in the groups that you made for auctioning, crafting, mailing, shopping, vending, and warehousing. We're only really going to use auctioning uh, and shopping really because crafting. We can look into crafting, but on this character, I don't have any crafting profession, so it's not really, it's not really big for me apart from the bars, obviously, which I can make the bars. All right, so, and then we have accounting. You can see here that, you know, I've, you know, we've been we've been playing for a bit. It says ten hours ago, but that's not play time. That's just how long ago. And I've been selling some stuff as I've been going along the vendor stuff that I want, I've worn and used okay and it's got summary of player gold and expenses and items and summary and things that we can look at when we foot when we get more into tsm all right so let's open our professions window because we do have a couple of professions we have mining skills and uh mining skills on herb skills so if we open up mining skills right it's going to ask us would you like to automatically create some trade skill groups for this profession yes Right, so there we go. Right, so we now have the three bars that I can make. Okay, so we can we can make bronze, tin, or copper. As you can see, I can make 152 copper bars. Okay, and a profit of three gold, 99 silver per bar. So if we click on it, so we highlight it. If we check down here, look, the ore is going for 495. That was 18 minutes ago, and the bars are going for seven gold, 50. All right, so realistic, we want to make bars. Okay, that's going to be our first priority. All right. And I don't know whether herbing skills will do this one, so a quick look. It will. So we can make uh, automatic grip as well for trace skills for herbs. Actually, what that really does. Nothing, because we've got nothing in there. Okay. A bit strange. I thought it was a bit strange. All right, and then what that will do then, if we go back on Tales Trace Skill Master. What we should have then, if we go to groups, we have professions, and then there we have mining. Okay, so if we go to the groups there, we've got mining, we've got in this uh, subgroup of mine of crafts, we have bronze bar, okay, and materials, we've got copper bar, copper ore, tin bar, and tin ore. It's because it's saying materials are the tin and the copper bar are materials, but I like them in there. I like them in the uh, craft to be honest okay so we can we want to move those and put them into the other one but we won't if we delete them now we won't ha we won't have them in because we haven't made any bars all right but I want to remove that one and I'll remove tin bar as well all right because yes it, it is crafts but it's also um, we also make it and then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a little subgroup. So if we go click highlight crafts and then we go to management, okay, and then we're going to do low value uh, 
low value bars. All right, so low value bars is there. And that's when we make our copper bars, we will then add the copper bars to this group here. All right, and then we've got to look at operations. Okay, so to make an operation for low value bars, we click on there and then look at this. This is auctioning, so we're going to auction. So override module operations, no operations so far. So let's create a new operation. All right, so we're going to call it low value bars, low value bars. Okay, would you like to add this new operation to professions, mining, crafts, low value bars? Yes. Okay, so low value bars there. Okay, and then we have post. So what is, we then start getting into how long we are going to post the bars up once we've made them. All right, and we can, you've got 12 hours, 24 hours or 48 hours. I think 48 hours. Post cap is how many stacks of how many you want to post. So we can make 122. We could do just one stack of 122 stack size. All right, but what I, I don't really care about how many. I want to post as many as I can. So I'm going to 200 stack size. Okay, we do. Depends. You know, lots of gold makers out there. Really good gold makers have different um, stack sizes. So they will post a stack of 200 or multiple stacks of 200 then they'll post stacks in 20s 10s 5s and singles all right so they're like that's definitely ones we can look at all right but for a start we're going to keep just keep it pretty simple stack size maximum size 200 but then we're going to allow partial stack all right so if we've got 121 it'll post 121 all right okay we don't about keeping quantity because we're just trying to sell and then we come to uh posting price settings now posting price settings uh, there's loads of sources that you can use okay uh, tsm has loads of sources that we can we can use like percentage and stuff like that um but at the moment we're going to keep things really basic we're going to look at a minimum gold price a maximum gold price and a normal gold price okay so if we just bring this up and then we are gonna open how uh, I need to get my mining on here let me just drag mine down here so we've got it easy to press so we can bring it up so we've got mining okay and we know copper bars are at the moment roughly going for seven gold fifty but that, that is quite high all right really high price so let's have a let's have a quick check of the auction house. open the auction house so this is how tsm looks okay at the moment we've got no groups no shopping operations all these are really ones that are my um on my other account don't worry about these these will become searches the more that you use it if we write copper bar in here or cooper bar Good old Cooper bar there, but there's they're nearly as good as a copper bar, but not quite as good. So copper bars here, there's not many on the auction house. Like this realm doesn't seem to like making many copper bars. Alright, so we've got two stacks, so we've got thirty auctions. <coughs> thirty auctions in stacks of two, and then twenty auctions, stacks of two for nine gold and then seven gold fifty. So you see the the market value here is is well above what they're asking for really when we look at the price again let me bring it back up we can push it over here so uh minimum buy at seven gold but market value is four all right but, but i'm going to post at seven gold 15 are definitely but when you look at our pricing so right so let's have a look maximum price for a gold bar got nine gold there we're going to add more bars so this this is going to fluctuate as we go along but let's go maximum 25 gold right just this is it. just a really maximum price minimum price is what was they the historic price is to market value is 480 so we want our minimum price is four gold let's go four gold 80 okay for a start and then our normal price is going to be 10 gold. 
right, these are this is an you know this is the new realm to me so prices I need to look and see how this market um, works because the moment it doesn't seem like there's any cough bars and what I'm hoping is that there's a short of supply you know the demand is high but the supply is low so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and make some copper bars post those and um, see what we can do really so that's um that's our first little group there and then all we, only thing we need to look at then is uh, we undercut by one copper any more is just uh, you're, you're giving money away and we don't want to do that bid percentage is 100% so the bid price is the same as the buyout price I don't have um, I don't have it any less than that so look you look here percentage that's the tool tip gone percentage of the buyout as bid if you set this at 9% then 100 gold buyout will have a 90 gold bid but I'm 100% so it's the same price so when below minimum we don't pro we don't post okay so don't post items and then when above maximum I don't post items because I want to check I'll check that when we open the auction house and we do a scan and I'll see oh, what's not posting for it says above max price and then we can either post it manually or we can mess around with the settings on here to get a better price all right okay so we've set up our first group for bars we then need to make one for um, herbs all right so let's go back to groups and we, we're gonna make we've got professions so we might as well make another group management and we're gonna call it herbs okay Bam. there we go and then we're gonna add an we're gonna go to management and we're gonna have low value herbs Like that and then we're going to add the low value herbs now i think all of these beginning uh, herbs that we found in the first two um areas are to me are low value you know but we can change them all right so bruise weed is one earth fruits uh, major oil you need to have these in your bag to put them in first so peace bloom silver leaf swift thistle is that it there we go. So there we go. In, add them into the subgroup so they'll be in this low value herbs. All right. And then once again, we're going to make an operation for that. And we're going to override operation modules, create new modules and low value herbs. Low value herbs. Nice and simple. Yes, we do. Okay. So we've got low value bars, low value herbs. Okay. And then we're going to look at posting. 24 40 hours again sorry post cap 200 because we might have piles and piles of herbs in the future stack size 200 allow partial stacks right now this is where the pricing is going to be a bit different to um the bars because we haven't got this window here to have a look we have got a look a bit more manually at the herbs in our bag bags okay so if we start at uh, silver leaf silver leaf is going for at the moment two gold roughly market value one gold historic price is less than a gold all right okay but market value is 154 for that one peace bloom is 97 silver market value 88 silver uh major oil is 96 silver but the, that seems pretty low when the mar the market value historic price has been three gold Free gold 40 odd. Um, earth fruit is quite low again, 73 silver, but does sort of go really to the historic price is like one gold 65. Uh, Swift thistle is like free gold, but as historic price is like five and sometimes nine if you look at market value average. And then we have bruise weed, which is once again 85. All right, so we've got our minimum price. Our minimum price what's our lowest market value our lowest market value is peace bloom 88 silver so let's go let's take the five gold off and, and go for 80 silver okay and then our normal price it looked like what was a normal price sort of like we got some at three so five was the highest so normal price let's go 5g five gold maximum price 
It doesn't matter really because 20 gold, nobody's going to buy 20 gold. But so, and don't post items, don't post items. So we now have, we've got a minimum price of 80 silver. That will post the, the really low herbs. We might have to end up looking and making a sort of, you know, like a super low value herb or of a medium value and move some of those up here like the, um, the Swift Thistle and the, and the Mage Royal might have to be moved, all right, because we've got a low value. So I think I might do that anyway. Okay, that be, that could be something I could look into. And I think I might do. So let's make another one. So we'll have, um, all right, so management. So operation, and then we're gonna have low, slash mid value value herbs okay because we've got quite a lot here so we're going to put two or three in there and we're going to do that and then post again we're going to go for 48 hours all right 48 hours post cap 200 uh, stack size 200 allow partial stacks Okay, and our minimum price then, I think we need to look at, what is it, Swift Whistles 3, Major Raw is a bit low at the moment, Swift Whistles 3, market value is 5, and it's 3, so minimum price is 3 gold 50, 3 gold 50, okay, uh, maximum gold will go for 25 again, because it doesn't matter, because nothing's going to be that high. And normal price, we looked at, um, what was it, 3 and between 5, so normal, let's go for 7 to be on the safe side. Alright, so we've got a nice little mid-value herbs there. So, we need to go back to our groups, and then we've got a low-value herbs here, and we need to remove the ones that we think are a mid low to mid-value, which is Major Royal, um, Swift Thistle, and I reckon even Earth Root. Mm. And I'm gonna put Earth Root in there as well. Okay, so we're removing those, and then we're gonna go back to Herbs Management, and we're gonna call it Low Slash Mid value herbs right. and then we're going to go and add those ones we took out so earth root mage royal swift thistle all right and then we're going to add those operations override that okay so there we go we've got our three groups for so we've got herbs done and we have got the um herbs and the ore slash bars group okay well bars we've not made any for selling ore yet because we try and make money from making bars all right so let's and then we've got one more that we need to do is meat okay so cooking so let's go to cooking which we have got one of the professions so cooking once again we're gonna create some trade yes we do all right, at the moment we've got this. We've got no profit to make from this, okay? But what all I want to do is just make a group in Trade School Master. So if we go to close that for a minute and reopen it, groups, and then we should have cooking, cooking materials. All right, so we've got cooking materials. We've got bear meat, boar, yeah, boar ribs, clam meat, coyote meat. Gortus liver, uh, murloc fin, small spider leg. All right, so we're going to add all those. So we've got quite a lot of meat there. Okay, it's pretty, pretty low, pretty low standard stuff. So let's put. Uh, I like me low values and that kind of thing. So low value, low vad, low vaddy, low vaddy. <laughs> Low value, low value cooking. That's okay. 
Alright, and then it's just got to add that again over there. There we go. Small leg as well, I forgot about that. Stringy me. Bam. Alright, and then operations. So, override operation. Create new operations. Okay, low value cookie mats. Yeah, we do. Go to post again. 48 hours. Post cap 200. Like 200 stacks of one. 200. Allow partial stack. Right, so food wise. Now, some of this is worth a lot more than what others are, but I don't really care about the meat at the moment because it's not really a massive value. So, what we got here, we got um, like spider legs, it's 75 silver. 62 for the chunk of boar meat, 33 for the stringy meat, stringy wolf meat, 2 gold for the curry meat. So we've got 4 boar ribs, is quite high. So nothing's massive. Alright, so let's do our minimum price of, we don't want gold. So 50 silver, okay, for that. Maximum price. 20 gold and a normal price of five. There's nothing really over five there. So five gold. Okay, don't post items. Don't post items. So literally, we've made some stuff and then we've got some random items which we can sell here uh, uh, manually. All right, so we can sell. We can put stuff, some stuff in the auction house. We then just need to go off and make some bars and then come back and post them. And then that's pretty much this video finished. Then so let's crack on. So. These buttons here, this is TSM that I've got. So you've got three TSM tabs here. So you've got Auction DB, which is the data. Okay. If you don't have the desktop app, you need to run Get All Scan to get all your data. Okay. Um, but I've got the desktop app, so it's, it does automatically. This is the auction in which we use the groups or haul it, we've made up. And then we've got the shopping tab, which is here, which we I searched for a so at the start, a Cooper bar, then we made it a copper bar. Right. So auctioning. So. You can literally deselect all the groups. You can, you know, pick one, two, three, whatever you want to do, or you can select all, and we're going to post. All right. So start post scan. So yeah, so we've got some posting eleven stacks. So it's like under undercutting competition is pretty good. Posting at normal price, so it's posting the gold it's liver at five. All right, and then uh, undercutting competition there, low value herbs at one gold ninety nine. Auction below minimal price, that the stringy wolf meat's too low. Uh, and so is the earth root, okay, and uh, also the murloc fin is below, and also the mage royal. All right, but we're going to post those 11. So I told you about the mouse wheel. If I just hold the control button and spin it, it will post all 11 of those. Okay, so literally we post everything apart from the all. And then I've got some random items which we can post using auction If you want, you can post it uh, by doing um, using TSM. But I quite you got quick posts from bags here, uh, which is really good. But it can all. It, the only problem I get with it is when it, it wants to post everything in singles at the moment. Alright, so what I that's why I like to use auction A, which is these three tabs here. And if I click sell, alright, it's then drag. So we've got this uh soldier shield of the boar, uh one in the bag, so we stick it over there and it'll give you some information here from the undermine journal. Okay, and it's got 100, 111, 188 gold. Alright, so you can post that. Look, but you've got to change this setting here. So options. Make sure we've got 40 hours. Okay, and then we'll just change that 40 hours for that one. And we post that. What else have we got? We have got the small, just pearl. The pearl is 50 silver. We're just posting that, getting rid of it. So shadow gems, 19 gold. They're pretty pricey, isn't they? So that's pretty good. So put them on. And then leggings. So we've got one for 45. There's five of them, so it's probably as good as we're going to get. So. We'll post that. All right, and then what have we got left? We have got some linen cloth for 14 silver. I should really use it the first day, but hey, it doesn't matter. 
All right, post that, and then we have some basic dual crafting stuff here. It's not worth a lot of value in it at all, really. But we'll go there. Not go that low. That's stupid. Someone else can buy that. Okay, and then we're gonna put that there. We could snipe this. Not snipe it. We could flip these for five silver, but we haven't got much money left. We only got sixty-five silver left ourselves. So we might have trouble posting our bars because we posted every cow. So we need to sell some stuff so we can post our bars. Okay, and then we're going to post that for one silver. Right, so all we've got to do is make some bars. We may not have enough gold to post all these bars, but we'll, let's see what we can do. All right, so let's get this done so we can find an anvil that's right on the other side, isn't it? But there's an auction house over there, so it's not much of a, it's not too much of a big deal. So we just make the bars. Right, so we just made 152 bars. All right, so let's go and put them on the auction house and then we can just finish off this first video. But we might better post them because we might not have another no gold. As we, well, silver. We can try. So, auctioning, post scan. Is it going to let us post them? Hmm. Oh, we're not out of dairy. Silly me. TSM, and then we go to groups. Where are we? Low quality bars, and we need to add the copper bar. Oh, silly me. There we go. Let's see. Let's try that again, shall we? One last time. Copper bars. Only cut in for one auction. Is it going to post it? It has posted it, and I have. Oh, that's only cost 10 silver. All right, so it's posted them at 7 gold, 49 silver, and we've got. You know, uh, total value auction is 1,800. So that'd be nice if they get that back. So we will end the stream, the video there. So um, make sure if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. Okay, uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, look, look for the new, the next video in this this line to come. And also make sure you check me out on uh, add me on Twitch and Twitter and. The blog and on the the next uh, video hopefully we'll have some gold in the mailbox we can then uh, look at buying some of the vendor items we can find in Stormwood City so thanks for watching and yeah we'll see you soon